These chaotic scenes show the immediate aftermath of the explosion. A car bomb detonated in Beirut's downtown business district. The blast killed the former finance minister, Mohamed Shatta, a close aide to the ex-prime minister, Saad Hariri, and one of the leaders of the future movement. Mr. Shatta's bodyguards were also killed, and dozens of people nearby were wounded. The force of the blast blew out windows across a wide area. One retired Lebanese general told Al Jazeera that all the leaders of the March the 14th anti-Syria group were due to be in the area for a meeting when the bomb went off. The killer was waiting for very important target among those uh, uh, members, uh, important person who are going to that meeting. And security in Lebanon, of course, they make security measures, but when you talk about terrorism, security can minimize the damage and decrease, you know, those operations, but cannot stop it. One prominent Lebanese academic described what kind of man Mohammed Shatter had been. Mohammed Shatter, who was a very prominent, uh, erudite, uh, um, very graceful, intelligent man, but a very ideological man who was one of the faces of the, uh, of the March 14 movement and the Hariri uh, group. Mohammed Shatter's killing comes as he was preparing for meetings in January over the International Tribunal looking into the 2005 assassination of the former Prime Minister Rafiq Hariri. A prominent economist and diplomat, Shatter served as his country's ambassador to Washington in the late 1990s. But it is his closeness to Saad Hariri now which may have cost him his life. Dominic Kane, Al Jazeera.